All right, moving on. Now we are going to change the tints of the window. I am going to show you guys the levels menu. Notice how this one's darker and these are light. That's because it's illegal to have your front windshield totally tinted simply because it is uh, important to see the driver's eyes. All right, so just be mindful of that. I'll try to be one of those thugs with your windows all tinted out. All right, so coming over here, I'm going to show you how to make it still look good, but make them legal. So you're going to come over to here. I'm going to trace just this little half of the windshield right here. I'm going slow and steady, real quick, tracing this portion of the windshield. Boom, boom, bam, bam, right about there. And we're going to stop right there. Okay, go into your car layer. As I always tell you, never go edit cut. It's the wrong thing to do. Control Z will backstep. Or if you did cut by accident, you can go to edit, step backwards, undo cut pixels, which is uh, uh, Control Z. You see it right there. All right. So now we've got this traced. We're in the car layer. Okay. I'm going to go to edit, copy in the car layer. You're going to go to edit, paste. There you go. Layer one, drag it all the way up to the top. If you take all the layers away, there is my windshield that I just cut out right there. Bring your layers back. Click and drag. I'm going to call this window tint. In the window tint layer, this is important now, you're going to hit control L and watch what happens. I can black out that whole section and make it really, really black. That's really black. I don't want it too much. I want to convince people a little bit. So I'm going to drag it to about there. That's about right. Right about there. That's convincing. Eh, a little darker. There you go. All right. Fine. So be it. Now I'm going to click the, I'm just going to click OK. Now I'm going to show you guys some eraser tools now. In this, in this window tint layer, we are now going to, welcome to the eraser world now in Photoshop. You're going to go to the eraser tool. You're going to click on this drop menu right here. These are all different eraser brushes. Okay. <clears throat> on the eraser brushes, I'm allowed to drop this menu here and you get a whole bunch of different eraser brushes. Man, it gets really in depth into wet media brushes. Don't go crazy. Here's all I want you to do. We're going to explore those brushes later. You're going to click on this one right here. And this is the size, the diameter of your brush. I want to make it kind of big, like this big. That's about right. Now watch this. Check this out. See this line over here, how big it is, how it's like so definitive? Watch what happens. I'm just going to just kiss this one little area. Boom. And you notice how I'm getting rid of my little line over here? All right. Let's say your, your brush is really smaller. You know, people are going to want to do this, you know. You could do this too. And that's fine too. But by, by doing it the other way, you know, this is fine. You know, it's nothing wrong with it. You could do it both ways. So again, you could do it where it's a big, big diesel brush like this one, and you can kind of get a little further away and just kiss the edge, you know, and just kind of hold the, hold the mouse down and just go over it like that. And there you have it. And look, check it out. There's your original, and there's the tint. You just made a little, little, little tint, you know, little, small, little, un besecito. Little, little tint right there, right? Now, um, you can come on to this, this side of the window, and you can also tint this side as well. But I'm only requiring you to just to do the front tint right here. That's all. Nothing crazy. Now, we're moving on. We're going to add some really cool graphics to this thing. I definitely see money. This car is definitely going to be money. But we'll get to that. Right now, you learn how to do the window tints. Learn how to change the color of the headlights right here. There's your headlight tints, uh, colors. You learn to do a back rim. You learn to do a front rim cover in the design dilemma. And you learn how to add rims. You should be able to do this. Click and drag and take away to the original car. Click and drag and go back down to the modified version of your cars. That's all for now.